Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're down at your call, JD Nexon Show. And it's mad to think you were the first interview I've done. <laughs> yeah. Over a year and a half ago. Yeah, time flies. Maybe a bit, a bit longer than that, maybe. Do you know, nah. What fight was I getting ready for? You was getting, was it the summer's fight? Was it, no, 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 it weren't the summer's fight. What was it? I've been 20. Callum Johnson. Okay, yeah. It was so the Johnson fight. Yeah, 29, yeah, 2018. Yeah. How's their retirement treating you? All good? Yeah, good. I'm enjoying it, yeah. I mean, I'm looking at these, like the Craig Richards fight against Sterling was very, very good. It's, uh, it's a gruelling sport. Mm. And uh, when you're on the other side of the ropes, sort of looking in, and uh, I think you, you appreciate how hard it is. When you're, when you're in amongst it, and you kind of, when you're there, you're training day in, day out. I don't think you realise the, uh, the pressure you put your body and your mind under. But uh, yeah, since coming out of it and kind of, Coming to these shows, it's, I can see how, like, how, what a tough sport it is, and nah, just a lot of credit to these boys that are getting in there and working hard and, and chasing their dreams. You must miss it, though. Do you know what? I, I don't. I'm proud of what I achieved. Mm. I, I love the experience. It's made me who, who I am today. It's made me the man I am today. Um, but I'm content, and uh, I, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to get back in there. Don't miss it one bit. No, I mean, I still, I still like, love watching it. Mm. I still pop into the gym. I still do a bit of training. Um, I'm sure as time goes on, I'll, I'll be involved a little bit more in the, in the coaching side. Um, but no, the competing side, no, the, the fight is out of me now. No more fighting me. What are you doing with yourself nowadays? Then? I'm, I'm in construction. I've, uh, I've joined out at the family construction business. So uh, I'm enjoying that new challenge. So sort of going back to school a little bit and uh, getting some education and some courses. So uh, no, I'm enjoying the new challenges and uh, yeah, the world of work. Okay. Something different though? Yeah, well that's, I, kind of, I started off in um, construction. I was working... Before boxing? Yeah, before boxing I was doing a building surveying at university and I put that on hold to join the, uh, the GB team. And I never, I never got a chance to go back to it. But then turn pro, my first year as a pro, I worked full time as well. Mm. So I kind of juggled the two. And then obviously once I started winning fights and going on to like the, the higher paid fights, then I could afford to sort of put a work aside and focus solely on boxing. But yeah, I'm going back to my roots. Do you think you'll work in boxing though? Like as a pundit, trainer, manager? Yeah, I've done, like, done a little bit for, for Sky. Um, but um, as a trainer, it's, it's, a, it's a huge commitment. Mm. I think you really have to give your life to it. You have to give your heart and soul to it. So. Unless it's, unless it's family or like a really close friend or I come across a young, a young fighter that then wants to pursue and I can see something in them, it may be, but I know it's a, it's a big commitment and I wouldn't want to give a half-hired attempt on someone's livelihood. Mm. Well, let's see, uh, let's put your punditry skills to the test. <laughs> Here we go. Um, your privilege is supposed to happen June 29th. Um, there was a delay in that, we don't know yeah. the exact reason for it. Um, Apparently he's going to Perth bids now, um, looking like September that might happen in Russia still. Yeah. What chance do you give Yard? So you've, got to give him a, you've got to give him a chance because he can punch, um, he's young, he's fresh, he's hungry. Um, but then Kovalev is so, so tried and tested, he's been at that world level for such a long time. So obviously my money would be on Kovalev, but I, I wish Yard all the best. And, Fingers crossed, it comes off and he can he can pull it off. You want him to do it, yeah? Oh, of course. Like, all, all the guys that I boxed against or that was rivals, I want to see him do well because, like I said, it's such a hard game. And uh, to see that, like, the like the young fighters and the, the English fighters come through and sort of make a name for themselves and secure themselves financially, that's that's what I want to see. Yeah, of course. Mm, well, we've got a, a good shot, obviously, Joshua Vuatsi. British champion and uh, Callum Johnson, yeah. someone you know very well. Both very, very good fighters. Mm. Um, well, actually really impressed me his last time out, especially when he went to America, boxed really well there. Um, Callum Johnson has been performing really highly. Um, to drop Burp Paterbiev, thanks for doing, and then um, what well, he done, that demolition job on Sean Monaghan, which is very, very, very impressive. Mm. Frank, I do want to ask you uh, about the heavyweights, because uh, uh, so much going because, on. because I'm a heavyweight. Because you, you're making a comeback at heavyweight. You're going to bend the construction off. Um, no, I do want to ask you, um, Joshua losing out to uh, 
uh, Ruiz in, in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's been talking about it. Rumours flying about panic attacks. Did you get knocked out and sparring? What was your sort of take on that whole situation? It's boxing. You're, you're fighting like people don't realise how good Ruiz is. He's a very, very good fighter. He's a top amateur. He's a dangerous opponent. He's got fast hands. He's got a very good chin. Rapid hands. And he, he's got his timings. Yeah. The time is phenomenal. Like he was throwing when Joshua started throwing combinations. He was almost like he was going, Joe, well, I want to flip the coin and I'll trade with him. So um, every, everyone can get caught, everyone can be hurt. I've seen like that some of the best chins in boxing they get they get dropped and they, they can potentially get beat and they get slip up. So there's no uh, there's no shame in defeat. It's uh, how he comes back. Do you think you should take the rematch? I mean, it's, take the rematch, get, get his tactics right. He obviously knows the dangers, he knows his strengths. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's one to, it's going to put it to bed um, to, to, to fight someone that's beat you. Um, it was always on my, when I, when I was beat, I'd always want the rematch. Yeah. It was, and it was something that sometimes the management didn't agree or other opportunities arose. But I think mentally it's always lovely to be able to get that chance to, to put that wrong right. Mm. Around that really we had Deontay Wilder's spectacular knockout of Dominic Brazil one round and we have just had Tyson Fury knockout of Schwartz in two rounds. Who do you see as the number one guy in the division currently? I'm, I'm going to throw out and say Dylan White. Dylan White is number one, yeah? yeah? Dylan Best ever in the world. Yeah, yeah we, uh, me, and, me and my friend we were talking about on the way out we saying he's I think since the first Chisora fight, he's just improved on every single yeah, fight. Yeah. The guys on his resume, the guys he's beat now, really like he's really impressed me. And like he does a bit of everything. Obviously you've got Fury, he can box, he can move, his, his boxing ability is phenomenal. But he's not a massive he's not a massive puncher. And it's, I know he, he got up from that shot from Wilder, but obviously there's he can be hurt. Um, then obviously Wilder. He can punch, he's, he's an amazing puncher, but there is some vulnerabilities there and he can be a bit, a bit reckless. So, um, and obviously we've seen with Joshua, he's gonna have to build himself back in. Whereas White, he's kind of consistently improved on every fight. For me, I think he's, he's up there, he, he could be number one. Okay. Well Frank, uh, best of luck in uh, coming back at, I mean, with construction. <laughs> Not coming back at every way, people. Don't worry. Yeah, best of luck. Um, and it boys it far too hard for me. <laughs> You'd be top dog, wouldn't you? Coming back at every way. I don't know about that, mate. I, um, yeah. I, I could eat with them, but I don't know if I could fight with them. That's one break. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. So what are you from?